Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Katherine Young and I'm a creative. And I had no intention of filming today, but I totally forgot that my favorite antique pop-up, Hopped Antique Market, um, was open this weekend. It was doing Christmas and my favorite vendor posted some amazing pictures. I saw Santa in one of those pictures that I was like, oh, I would love to add that to my Santa collection if it's still there. So I'm going in, we're going quick but I really want to show you all the beautiful Christmas that is here at this market. It is amazing. So let's head on in there. It is already busy and it just opened. <laughs> I love the way they decorate their outdoor area. They do such a great job. I love that ceiling panel. Oof, what could you do with that? I love the plaid and the pops of red in the greenery. Ooh, popcorn Santa. How cute is he? Thought he was a good price. Looks like they're all about the same price. The old skis are really fun. Look at these neat Santa lights and snowman lights. Ooh, snowman blow mold. Look at the old sleds and the skates. Such a good look. Look at these huge Santa boots. <laughs> and oh my gosh, I love these. Ugh. Look at all that vintage yard decor. Oof, he's pretty pricey. <laughs> yep, they're marked really high-end retail. I love these. And the price on those aren't bad at all. Aren't they adorable? Now we're inside, and don't you just love stacks of vintage ornaments? Oh, all that glitters is holiday. I love it. Look at all the fun up here, <laughs> little goober. <laughs> Some really cute candles in this booth. I love the little houses. Oh, there I am in the mirror. <laughs> oh, and I love all these hung ornaments. This booth always has really nice things. They're usually priced high end of retail in this booth, but I like to just see the items they have. I always think it's fun to just see what they brought. Oh, I love him. How cute is that? And the hanging ornaments in front of a mirror look so good. I love this display. A cloche makes everything look fancy. I'm really loving stacking books and displays now. 
That is a beautiful album, uh, but that's high end of retail for that album. And let's see, nope, it doesn't look like there's any pictures either. How cute are those angels? I am constantly drawn to the Tom and Jerry sets. I, I really want a set, but y'all, I don't have space for them. Also, Tom and Jerry is far superior to eggnog. Yes, I said it. Love this book. How nice will that be for display? It's priced right. Okay, now we're going into my favorite booth. This is also my favorite dealer from the Twin Cities postcard show. They always have the best booth. I love checking out everything. Just look at it. Oh, goodness. Look at all that vintage holiday goodness. Woof! Love these little, little, little lights, the little milk glass painted lights. I really like this flu cover. She does a great job filling every nook and cranny. <laughs> Love the Jolly Elves. Look at those boxes, wow. These Santas are all high-end retail, but I love them all. What do I see here? Oh, look at that little goober, little chubby snowman. Little more than I want to pay for something that small. I love all the boxes and the packaging. That is for sure my favorite. Wow, these boxes. How cute is this set? <laughs> oh, very, very cute. Santa parking only, how fitting. Ooh, there is a very reasonably priced Tom and Jerry set. Ugh, I don't have space for that, but I, I do want one. I decided to grab this. Isn't it just lovely? Only $12. I love it. Now we're moving on, and this booth is a completely different vibe. It's very kind of rustic. How fun are these little things? I really love how they made that repurposed ornament display. I love those Noel bells. They're flocked. I've never seen those specific ones before. Another cute ornament display. And oh, look at this booth. They have all these little uh, kind of like mug topper style things that someone made. They are just great. I love those. Those would look so nice on a tiered tray. So many to choose from, wow. The person who made these did a great job. Oh, I love the ones that look like hot chocolate. How 
How easy is that? Coil up some lights and you have a great display. And in this place, I gotta remember to look up. Aren't those neat? Those trees made out of springs? And up here, I love this hat. Oh my gosh, it took everything in me to not buy this. I love that hat. It's amazing. And how gorgeous is this tree? And look what they put underneath it. They put a lucite fruit bunch and it just, it fits in perfectly. It looks wonderful for Christmas. That's a really big cluster. Lots of little goobers over here. <laughs> Oh, Santa, he has seen some things. <laughs> I really love this booth. They have modern, vintage, kitsch, and rustic all mixed together, which is just kind of my jam. I, I love all kinds of aesthetics all put together. And I'm a sucker for these spinny things. They are absolutely my favorite. I love to spin these around and I love to see all the little knickknacks and things in them. I would love to get one of these for my antique booth. I thought these were great um, to craft with. Really good deal on that bundle. And how cute is this little owl over here? And then behind him, there's another owl. Do you see him back there? <laughs> I love how these boxes all look stacked. I think that's a really neat look. And y'all, these were an exceptionally good price for Putz Houses. I actually thought they were reproduction, but they've said made in Japan on the bottom. $10 each and in great condition. I thought this was really fun. I liked the nativity in a lantern. I thought that was a fun idea. I really loved this Christmas framed wreath from the Victorian era. That was gorgeous. And we're just about to head out, my friends. Ugh, and look. I found some more fun little things to craft with. These were really good prices too. Aren't they neat? Oof. Okay, so isn't that place amazing? Oh, they do such a good job. Um, I did get out of there in an hour, which I need to. It is currently starting to snow. I have to get home. I have a lot to do. So I'm going to go get a cup of coffee and then we are going to do a quick haul right in the car of everything I got. Yeah, coffee brulee, no, is that you want the whipped cream? Uh, no whipped cream. And this is hot or ice? Hot, please. All right, what else are we looking for today? That's all. All right, I'll have a total up at the window. Thank you so much. Have a good day. All right, so mission accomplished. Ugh, this is hands down their best drink. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what I picked up. Um, I'm a few days late, this is not their opening day, so I did miss the Santa. I was eyeing for my Santa collection, but that's okay. There were so many amazing things there. I could have bought everything. Um, I just could have went wild, but it was one of those things where it was like, do you really need this? Also, I picked up some things for crafting and I was like, Catherine, you don't need another project. You have so many projects. You need to not pick up project pieces. And so I did put back some items that I thought would be good for crafting because I just don't have the time for more projects. So I think the biggest steal of a deal I got was this little tinsel tree. It's not that little, actually. It's like probably 13 or 14 inches as a mercury glass top ball. 
and it's just gold. Um, I paid $12 for this. This came from my favorite uh, booth and I was really excited to pick it up. There was a, another tinsel tree in there that was like more of the classic silver tinsel tree. But after kind of looking it over a bit, I kind of felt it was most likely modern. Um, but this one is for sure vintage and it is super cute. Also for my favorite booth, I picked up this. Now, funny enough, I had eyed this in their Christmas sale last year at her booth and I didn't grab it. And it was either the same one or she found another one. I love the graphics on this. Pastel and bright color Christmas is really trendy this year. So this is really on trend. I only paid $5 for this, but my favorite part about this, so I'm gonna display it like this with the packaging. Um, my favorite part about this is what is in here doesn't look like the packaging at all. They just didn't even try. It's not even close. So that just cracks me up. Uh, these are little Avon soaps. Um, but I am going to display just this little box with my angel display. Also for my favorite booth, I picked this up. I believe it was only $12. And to be honest, I just adore this box. I thought this box was worth $12. However, this said the sleigh was in here and y'all, I haven't even looked at this. So you're going to look at it with me. Let's see what's in here. Oh, look, it is. The sleigh's in there. Oh, that's really fun. It's got a very kind of like Scandinavian kind of look. Oh, really fun. So um, it does say patent pending. Um, the graphics in here are actually fantastic. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's showing you how you can make an assemblage with it. Oh, how good is that? So it doesn't have any graphics on the back, but man, this cover and um, I can put the sleigh together in my display. And even that other inside graphic, I might need to make a copy of that for the display because wow, that is so good. And then I picked up one more item. This is maybe the only item that wasn't from my favorite booth. Uh, however, it is my favorite subjects, ephemera, old old Christmas book. I think this will look amazing in a display. This also would be kind of cool for an ephemera share. I could read it, um, but it has seen better days and there are pages missing. Uh, so I really did just pick it up because I thought the cover was beautiful and this is a beautiful piece for display. Thank you so much for coming along with me, everyone. I have to get home and I have to pack a really big sale. Uh, so cheers to the holidays. Stay creative and Bye. That's good. That's good.